wenn die da im Pulk durchhämmern, das wird schon nicht ohne werden. Meine Schuhe haben auch Grip. Hey guys and a warm welcome uh, here from Lausitz Ring. And we are here right now on the turn one. So it's really tricky to get the right turning angle first of all and the right speed of course. Uh, you hit the, the apex too early and then you will end up in the wall. So we are right now at the apex of the corner. Uh, you come in really quick, then uh, you try to slow down a little bit, but you don't use the brakes at all. It's just a little lift. If you touch the inside curb, for example, that's not a good idea because then you lose the rear and you get really in trouble. Uh, important is to being early on power to carry uh, the maximum speed out of the corner. Okay guys, so we are here uh, in the last part of the corner and here is exactly the point where you should be back on, on power and then you try from here on as well to open the steering wheel and uh, come close to the wall on the exit. So if you kiss the wall a little bit on the exit, then it's fine. If you kiss it a bit too much, then was too quick over here. So we just uh, yeah, end of the long straight after turn one. Here is a, for me the best chance to overtake. Uh, it's a second year corner, which uh, it's really heartbreaking zone after the maximum top speed we get uh, on this track it's about uh, between 265 and 270 so it's quite fast and on the start you will see also a uh, big trouble going on here uh, because everybody wants to, to be late on braking and to overtake uh, another car so here you will see a lot of action what is this camera for for the big country and analysis after the, the, the pit stops. And we have uh, on the big country and uh, on the wall, just uh, behind you. And uh, so we can see uh, each side, the left and the right. First day of uh, DTM Lausitz Ring uh, is almost done. Today we set up the whole box, uh, which looks pretty awesome, and uh, had some discussions about uh, BOP for Lausitz Ring. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, we managed it, and we are quite happy with the result. And uh, yeah, the rest we will see from tomorrow onwards. Hi everybody, welcome to the Windward Pits. Today we would like to talk about uh, the balance of performance, BOP. It is done to make sure that all competitors are competitive in the grid. There's two adjusting screws for the BOP. The first one is the weight of the car. The second one is the power of the car. And with a normally aspirated engine as our 6.3 V8 in the Mercedes AMG GT3, the easiest way to control the power is to limit the air. And this is done with a so-called air restrictor. One is here, one is here. What we have uh, done yesterday is to change the air restrictors. We got a bigger air restrictor that um, uh, enables us to create more straight line speed, which is crucial here on this track. On the other hand, the car has to carry an extra weight with it. Uh, this harms our braking performance and limits our corner speed. So I hope you enjoy the races here and have fun. See you later. When there is some shit in the traffic, the first guy you hear is the Italian one. Eh? Ah, so. <laughs> Always be ready in traffic. Eh? It's, the, it's the real jungle. Eh? You have to survive in some way.
quite happy with P3. Uh, I think P2 would have been possible. Shelly just did a mega job today, was, was just on the league on, on his own. And congrats to him and to his team. starting from position 9, 10 and 19, so we're in the middle of everything. Um, it's going to be an exciting race. We're all going to push for it and hopefully make it a good one. 